Welcome back to Staking House Meat Lovers. My name is Andre Hosmeister and today we are going to do tenderloin or filet mignon. One interesting thing about the filet mignon, there are some people that don't like it because they say it's flavorless, it is not, doesn't have like that beefy flavor. I know what you mean, but I love it because it's so tender. Uh, if you cook it right, it's gonna be an amazing steak. And today we're gonna go out and find a nice filet mignon. Days are cold, guys. So we're in Brooklyn. One thing that I love to do in New York is to wander around. Not in this cold, of course, but I love to wander around and go inside grocery stores and supermarkets just to see what they got. Sometimes they get some amazing steaks and most of the time they don't. Sometimes you can just make some finds, you know? That's exactly what happened a few months ago. I entered one of Key Food the supermarket chain. They usually don't have very good steaks there. But this particular one, I discovered that they, they got some amazing T-bone porterhouse. And the good thing about them is that they were like one and a half inches thick. If I'm lucky today, I'm gonna find a couple T-bones over there. I wanna buy it to detach the filet mignon of it because I wanna do something today. It's very popular in, in Rio de Janeiro. Every restaurant that serves a good steak there is gonna have it. Filet Osvaldo Aranha has a, a garlic crust. So I really hope to find a beautiful porterhouse today. A lot of great stuff here, guys. I mean, a lot. Let's see. This one I'm talking about. Look at how how thick it is. It's it is actually an inch and a half, maybe even more. So yeah, let's see what else. Oh, ribeyes, guys! Thick cut ribeyes. I love this place. It's the, I think it's the best supermarket I know for me to find the best marbling that one. This is the one. Look at the price guys. 11 bucks. Really? 11 dollars for a rebuy like this. Big bacon guys. Big bacon. This is so good. I think I found what I came for and now it's time to go home and prepare this amazing dish. So we are back and here the price. So filet mignon is very expensive, everybody knows that, anywhere in the world, it's gonna be expensive. But here in the United States, there is a way, I call it a cheat. You go out and you buy a porterhouse, yeah, you're gonna separate the, the filet from the porterhouse, kind of a sin, I know, I know. I, f I feel bad about it, but sometimes you gotta do it, because you want just the filet mignon. But in the end, come on, you're gonna end up with another steak for another day. An amazing steak, a New York street. It's not bad at all, but I still feel a little bit weird. Now it's time to take this filet mignon out of the bone. So, it actually is almost two inches, guys. Sometimes you gotta go to the supermarket and see what they got. Sometimes they actually got some amazing steaks. It's not often, it's not every place, and that's why I said that I love to go out and wander and I'm always hunting for some good steaks. Let's take the filet mignon out of the bone. And boom, here we have it. And our amazing, super beautiful New York strip. I'm gonna save it for another time. Let me clean this filet mignon. Filet mignon is usually a very lean cut. Here we have it, a small and beautiful filet mignon. So let's season it with salt. Pepper. 
and garlic powder. Let's say you're already going to put a lot of garlic on top of it, but I love garlic. You can use Ziploc bags. Just make sure it's BPA free, right? I'm going to sous vide this baby here for one hour in 126 degrees Fahrenheit. I want it medium rare. All right, time to go to the sous vide. And let's wait for an hour. Let's put some fire in it. Well, this is it, guys. It smells good. Now the garlic, guys. It's, it's super crispy. And you just top your steak with this. Mm. This garlic is super good. I did my mashed potatoes. I don't know how to make like a beautiful presentation for mashed potatoes, guys. It always kind of looks like mashed potatoes. <laughs> it's supposed to be like this, right? And just a bit, little bit of parsley is going to do it. Looks beautiful to me. See this falling apart? Wow! Super flavorful. Oh shit, man! This is really good. The seasoning penetrated. Wow! The garlic, the butter, the combination of those factors. The sous vide, right on point. This one is super, super amazing. Guys, this is filet mignon at its best. Really, really good. As I said, I already done a lot of filet mignon in the past. That way, three minutes each side, super good, but this is something else. So I totally, totally recommend you go in with filet mignon in the sous vide. Filet mignon is a very delicate cut, so go with medium rare, like 126 degrees, it was enough. It's not super red, you can see that. I thought it was going to be more red. No wonder you can find this any steakhouse, any places in, in Rio. It's just too good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did doing it. If you guys that don't quite like the tenderloin, give it a try. Try this recipe. The garlic makes a lot of difference. The butter, season it well. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on to know when the new video is up. Thank you so much for your audience. Keep watching. Share this video with your friends and I see you guys in the next one.